Hello everyone, this is anti Zafina Scarecrow Guide. There are a bunch of situations when Zafina goes into Scarecrow and you may not know what you should do in such situations. Well, there are several of those. Zafina has 1-3, totem from punish, plus 7 on hit, minus 2 on block. She has 4-2-3, stand in 3, 1-2-3, minus 1-3. All of those create the same situation, plus 9 on hit, 0 on block. And her 1 3 should also be considered the same situation as it's just 2 frames slower recovery. And there is 4 4 3, of course. Plus 9 on hit, plus 4 on block. Down 4 3, plus 4 minus 5, 4 3, plus 3 on block. And down back 3, plus 3 minus 8. Those are the ones that are not as good as the previous transitions. And there are all the moves from Scarecrow that leave Zafini Scarecrow. What you should know generally is that upon entering Scarecrow, Zafina really wants to land Scarecrow 1 plus 2. Big counter hit launcher that is plus 6 on block. Or Scarecrow down 4 or 4. That is a small low counter hit launcher, which on normal hit is plus 7 with a Mantis transition. So let's look closer at those transitions. After what looks like a generic Zafina standard 3, on hit she is basically free to do any move. And you should observe what she's doing, because she does have to do something, as she cannot block in Scarecrow. So you should block and observe. Don't even think of interruption unless you are absolutely sure that Fina will go for money or mantis or will just stand there. And she can still just cancel the transition to be plus one. But it's still a pretty soft mix-up. The Fina scarecrow down for a four may be okay for you just to eat. On block the situation is different. Nothing she does there after generic the Fina standing three is a frame trap. But she has all the reversal options available. The power crush, the low crush, the high crush are all six to eight frames activation. So you can consider interrupting with a mid, unless you do think Tafina will go for Scarecrow 4, the power crash. And that is particularly true on the 10 frame punish 1-3, which is minus 2. On everything else, that is 0. She also have an option to Scarecrow 1. And also on block, backdash is really consistent to evade Scarecrow 1 plus 2, on most of the cast. And again, the move themselves, 1-2-3 and 4-2-3 you should always duck on block. 4-2 is minus 18 on block by itself, so no that. And all of the standing 3 looking moves have very poor tracking. 4-4-3 on hit is plus 9, so it's the same situation as with standing 3. On block it's plus 4, which makes Scarecrow 3 a frame trap. So basically you can still interrupt Scarecrow 1 plus 2 as if it was 0. But the Pino also have a little bit more options and you cannot sidewalk. The move itself doesn't track that well. On read you should sidewalk it, preferably right. And the range of the move isn't as big as you may think. And she can cancel the stance to keep the plus 4. Down 4-3, 4-3, down back 3, are plus 4 on hit, plus 3 on block, and plus 3 on hit respectively. Which is basically the same situation as 4-4-3 on block. Which I already stated is basically 0 with a little bit of extra insignificant options for the Pina, and you are unable to sidewalk stun. S4 on block, down 4 3 and down back 3 may seem safe from the phrase I gave, minus 5 and minus 9. But they are not. Fast as the Fina's reversals in Scarecrow are 6 frame high crush and 6 frame low crush, and also power crush, the 8 frame. Meaning minus 5 is essentially minus 11. Or at least it would be if down 4 4 wasn't that evasive by itself. Your character may need their 2 jab to actually punish it. Or if you're lay, you can't punish it at all. And of course you can still sidewall, pressure, etc. It's minus 5 control. Down back 3 on the other hand becomes essentially minus 15. And it is truly punishable. But uh, you should consider that if she does cancel the stance, she is just minus 11. So, plus any 4. There is though another option that crushes high frame 1. Scarecrow down 3 plus 4 can evade jabs instantly, but it's very floatable and only viable after a move like Scarecrow 4. That's it for neutral transitions, pretty easy to understand. On block if it's not obviously blues, you can interrupt, you can backdash, on hit you shouldn't, and you avoid transitions by ducking and sidewalking. And once the Fina is in Scarecrow, she might want to continue pressure. Scarecrow 1 is basically another standing 3, plus 9 on hit, minus 2 on block, tackable. Scarecrow 2 is plus 7 on hit and minus 7 on block, and a Scarecrow minus 7 is essentially minus 13, but there is an undelayable follow-up. So it's practically safe if Zafina knows what she's doing. But you can sidewalk, you can block both hits for the minus 10, and etc. Scarecrow 3 is the interesting one. 
The pin has Scarecrow 3, 4, 3 and Scarecrow 3, 3, 4 as the extension of that. 3, 4, 3 is a natural combo into the wall. You can duck the second hit button block it plus 3, essentially resetting and allowing the Pina to do another Scarecrow 3. And if you try to duck and punish, 3, 3, 4 is a natural or counter hit. And it also launches. Scarecrow 3 by itself is plus 5, minus 6. Scarecrow 3 3 is plus 2, plus 7 on counter hit is minus 9. The Fina cannot counter hit confirm the string. And uh, as you see, both of them are pretty punishable. Scarecrow 4 is minus 18 with stance cancel. And minus 19 without. Just straight up launch it. Punish the Fina for using Scarecrow 4. Like, uh, there is no reason you shouldn't do that. But you should use launches that launches crouching opponents. Because of the previously stated Scarecrow down 3 plus 4. Scarecrow down 3 is minus 3 on hit. And what you should do is duck after that move. Because both of the extensions from Scarecrow down 3 are duckable. The move by itself is also plus 9 on counter hit. Which is counter hit confirmable, but not into the strings. Like, Lafina can see that the move counter hit it, and she can use the plus 9, but she cannot confirm the down 3 3 launch and uh, down 3 down 3, just a string. But they are natural on code ahead. And on block, single down 3 is minus 6, which is minus 12 on block. Scarecrow down 3 down 3, two lows are plus 8 minus 8, good on hit, essentially minus 14 on block, and Scarecrow down 3 3 is the same as normal form 3, plus 3 on block. And that's all moves that transition into Scarecrow. And now more general stuff. At your plus turn beta, you can sidewalk the Fina, and the preferable direction is right. Sidewalk right. To track you walking left, the Fina has Scarecrow 2 2 and Scarecrow 3. And walking right will sometimes get tracked by Scarecrow 1 plus 2. Sidesteps, unfortunately, are tracked by everything. Sorry, Eddie. And both directions get tracked by Scarecrow down for floor, which can fail to track sidewalk right though. And that's why you should sidewalk right, primarily. And that's pretty much it for playing against Scarecrow. Duck the high, sidewalk if you're brave, uh, block and observe on hit, consider interrupting on block, do lows if you can, that would force the Fina to use her low crush, which is minus 12 on block. And believe me, the Fina players are just as scared being the Scarecrow as you are facing it. Well, there is no simple trick for you to completely shut off Zafina from using the stance. She doesn't have a simple trick to screw you big for not doing anything either. Thank you everyone. Subscribe and like if you like the video. The script was written before season 4 release, so if there are any balance corrections, I will mention them in the comments. And also, if you still have questions, uh, be sure to mention them in the comments. I will try to elaborate on anything that is not clear. You do it. Oh, oh sure, it's easy. Now practice. Huh? Woman style. I won't do it.